What's up, y'all? I wanted to uh, make a quick video. I have been getting a lot of questions on how I install mods and how I run mods on my Cyberpunk 2077 gameplay. So I use Vortex Mod Manager. Um, I find it incredibly easy to use. You could always just download files and have a file manager be yourself, but Vortex is working and it works good. So Google Vortex Mod Manager, download it, And then some of the mods I use, I just go to the main page, put all time, popular all time. Cyber Engine Tweaks is a must. Red Script is typically a must, depending on the mods you're going to use. Um, I don't like underwear, so I use that. Appearance Manager has been my appearance menu, has been my one go-to lately. Simple menu, if you want to be able to hack the game, cheat the game, get unlimited health, all that fun stuff. Mercy first person, something I like to use. Um, I am just right clicking and opening these in new tabs. It's fine for me because this computer has an i7 with 32 gigs of RAM, so it can hold it, but I would advise not doing that because even very powerful computers like this, it does get quite taxing. It can, uh, it can use a lot of your resources and make your computer run like poopy, so. Recommend just doing it uh, one at a time, but you do you. So after you find all the mods that you want and you're ready to go, install Vortex, Vortex Mod Manager. That was loud. So when you first launch Mod Manager, you're not going to have any games in here. Um, you will have to search for Cyberpunk because you have to search for the games that you want to manage. So regardless if it's, I don't know, Fallout, Cyberpunk, Zelda, whatever, um, you type in search for the game and then you have to click manage game. After that, you can start to install your mods. Now, um, Cyber Engine Tweaks is not one that's Vortex ready, so you have to manually download it. And it will go into your downloads folder. So once it's downloaded, go back to your Vortex, hit install from archive, go to downloads. Click on game version because that's what it downloaded as and it will automatically install it. If you have any antivirus, you will have to allow that. And now Cyber Engine Tweaks is installed. You'll see that it shows this little yellow icon, meaning it's out of date. Just click check for updates and it will fix the issue. So for any mods that aren't Vortex ready by having the little icon right here, saying download with Vortex, you'll have to download them that way and install them manually. Otherwise, you can just click the little Vortex emblem and you'll see that they will install automatically. Appearance menu mod is another one that you'll have to download automatically or manually and then install it yourself. So I'll show you that at the end. Once you're done downloading the mods, you can exit out of them. You just want to make sure that they're fully um, installed before you do so. They go pretty quick on this computer, so I pretty much already knew they were. So 
I can cancel them out. Obviously, appearance menu mod is still downloading. I'm waiting for that because that's one I'll have to install manually. But bring up your Vortec menu, and then where it says never installed, well, once this is done downloading, there we go. So we'll get that one first. Go to your download do, download folder, install it. And then of course it will pop up with a little orange icon saying that it's not up to date. And to fix that, just click over here, click check for updates and it will automatically tell you, hey, it's updated. So then you can click the never installed and it will install them all automatically for you. And then if you miss this little pop-up, the little notification here, we can click enable all. Um, you can always just go where it says disable, you can just click it and it will enable it. So that's pretty much it. Then you launch, launch the game from Vortex. Of course, I always have to click on this kind of stuff because of the uh, antivirus that I use. After you get past that, the first thing that will pop up is the um, bindings key. You have to click it and then click a key to bind a Cybridge and Tweaks too. I use the tilde key, the button just left to the one button on your keyboard. It's just what I'm comfortable with. I think it's what it was originally back whenever I first started uh, installing mods and stuff like that. So I just stick with that. But use whatever key you feel is most convenient for you. But as you can see, the mods are up and running. They are loaded, so we're going to go and test them out a little bit, make sure they're running fully, and that's pretty much it. I'm just going to create a quick character here and just get through it real quick. So first thing is the appearance uh, menu or appearance unlock is working. Uh, this is a really cool mod. You can save your appearance. So like after you build a character, um, you can save it as a profile. That way you can come back to it later. You can keep using the same character look over and over. It's just a really handy tool that I enjoy. And it also makes it so that later in the game, you can go to the mirror and go to appearance and actually change your skin, change everything about your character, not just the superficial stuff like hair. It's a good mod and I enjoy using it. We'll go ahead and speed through this little part right here, but I'm clicking around trying to make sure stuff is working properly with the mod. But, whoa, my uh, sensitivity is a little high on this computer, but um, you can see, obviously, go into Appearance Manager, and then we'll be able to change the character, see what other characters she can turn into. Obviously, it's working properly. See if we can spawn a character in. Perfect. Man, the sensitivity is so high on this mouse, it's insane. So yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much it. Um, the mods work perfectly fine. I've never had a problem installing my mods this way. I find it easier to use than um, building your own um, file system and managing them yourself. It is super simple to do it that way as well. Create a file somewhere, call it mods. Add all your mods to it. The instructions on how to install the mods are in each of the descriptions of the mods, typically. Um, you can find some guides out there for that kind of stuff. And then basically, whenever you need to update, you just download a new file, drop it in place of the old file, drop it in the mods folder, and it will automatically overwrite it. But that's it for this video. I'm not the best at tutorials, but let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you all in the next video. Take it easy, guys.